feeling that has to come through our heart, my brothers and sisters, is love of Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not to be worshipped only out of fear, only out of understanding, you know, His glory, subhanahu wa ta'ala. No, also out of love. Do we love Allah? Do you miss Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Don't you sometimes feel, you know, Allah, Allah in dunya, in worldly relationships. You miss a friend, you pick up a phone, can you call him? Say, Wallah, why are you calling him? Wallah, I miss you. Wallah, it's been a while, you know, we didn't catch up. Let's go have a feed somewhere. SubhanAllah, we always have these feelings with human beings. You know, lovers, SubhanAllah, a male and a female, a husband and a wife, Islamic environment, you know, a husband and a wife. You know, the guy is overseas, he hasn't seen his wife in a long time. He picks up the phone and with no exaggeration, he is really enjoying the phone call. He doesn't want the time to end, theoretically speaking. Yeah, he, he, doesn't want the, he doesn't want the phone call. The wife more, usually, you know. She really, really is enjoying the phone call. And, uh, 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 please, you know, call me again. This, we are enjoying the discussion. Why is it with Allah we don't have these feelings? Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is saying, Arihna biha ya bilal. Then the bilal called, Adanna are stressed, we're tired of this garbage. We're tired of this dunya. By buying, selling, market, wife, kids, husband, all this, the, the trouble. Rasul sallam wanted to be with Allah. He missed Allah, he loved Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Sahaba learned from him. They sat this on sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The story of Abdullah ibn Amr, radiyallahu ta'ala anhu, a young man, of many of the youth team, mashaAllah. A young man in narrations, the difference between Abdullah ibn Amr's age and his father, Amr ibn As, was around 11 years. I know it sounds weird, but this was the tradition then. So Amr ibn As, his father, had his son when he was 11 years old. Abdullah ibn Amr. So they were like, they were like father and son, but there was only like an 11 year gap between them. So very, very, very close to one another. So Abdullah ibn Amr radiallahu anhu was a abd. He was the worshipper of Allah. No mocking around, no joking, fasting every day, tahajjud every night, all night. Fasting in the morning, Allahu Akbar. Dhikr of Allah, ibadah, da'wah, ilm, name it. He was one of these youth that dedicated themselves to Allah to the extent that his father had to force him to marry. He's one of those people that the father had to actually, you know, now get married, get married. And it wasn't because of work or because he had to be on the haram. No, 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 he was. He was dedicated to Allah, he didn't have time to think of these things. SubhanAllah. They don't exist in our time. So, Abdullah ibn Amr radiallahu anhu was forced to get married. Allahu Akbar. I want you to imagine the feeling going for a young man's heart on his wedding night. What do you think of? Our youth are smiling, I know. <laughs> Your wedding night, the first night, that's it, you know. And for them, he didn't have a, you know, he didn't meet his wife for 10, 10 years before. And no, no, no. It's the first time to see his wife. It's the first time to actually, you know, probably see a female in Medina. He actually is seeing, you know, and they're full of shahwat. They were true men. They're full of desire. And Abdullah ibn Amr radiallahu anhu says to his new, new wife, Allahu Akbar, you know, please uh, allow me, uh, allow me to pray to Allah. Allow me to pray to Allah. In this time, he's thinking of Allah. In that time, we pray. I don't want to speak about myself, but people that pray Isha on that night, they probably pray five rak'ah, three rak'ah. You can't think properly. Abdullah ibn radiallahu anhu in this time is remembering Allah. He's focused on Allah. SubhanAllah, he's, he's there, emotion. He, he, he's saying, please, allow me to pray. How can I spend the night? Not that. He wants to pray, so he starts praying and takes off. Forgets about his wife, forgets about his newlywed, mashallah, dressed up for him beside ah, He's praying, praying, praying until Adan al Fajr. <laughs> he forgets his wife in the first wedding night till Fajr. And then Fajr time comes, he's not going to miss his fasting because he's newly married. No way! He goes, sorry, tomorrow, inshallah. <laughs> She goes, Allah, What a man you've brought up, Allah Akbar. Let me fetish Lana Kanafan and I'm not a Lana for us. I don't know, you know, better. I'm still in bed waiting, nothing happened. So Abdullah Amr grabs, 
grabs his son from his, <laughs> he grabs him from his rabbi and takes him to Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. with this guy, I can't keep with him anymore. <laughs> so Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, no, no, he fasts one day on, one day off. You don't pray the Hajjah all night. A portion of the night you pray, a portion you sleep. Your family has a right, your wife has a right, you know, Deen has a right. He gives him the balance. But look at that, uh, forget about the story. The man forgot his wife because of Salat. Have you ever forgot anything because of Salat? Anything. Anything in your life. Did you forget anything in your life because of Salat? We forget Salat, yes. I mean, Salat, I don't know. Of course, you want to have to work, yes. But did you ever forget something because of Salat? Very, very rare. So my brothers and sisters, it's all about this love. If I love Allah, it's an opportunity. Allah is speaking to me. I'm talking to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Take it, grasp it. How much time is left? Huh? No, Allah no, no. So, so, subhanallah, it's, it's, uh, these feelings, they have to go for the heart.